Well, folks, good Saturday morning to you. Hopefully you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. We had a great uh, time at the jam last night and looking forward to um, this afternoon or this evening, five o'clock at the church. We do have our uh, bluegrass um, gathering today with uh, Open Rail going to be there and the Smoky Hollow boys are going to be there. We're going to have uh, all you can eat there, chili, um, grilled cheese, peanut butter sandwiches, um, desserts, hamburgers, hot dogs, drinks, live music outside. Bring your chair. Uh, hopefully everything will be great for that tonight. Mark, Mark chapter 7. And verse 25. For a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation. She besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it unto dogs, but unto the dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table of the children's, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. And he said unto her, For this saying, go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. We can look at that scripture, find it again, read what is written, see how Jesus doesn't even speak to her and eventually uh, does. You can see where she has heard of him. Somebody's had to tell her. It has been said that we uh, are like beggars telling another beggar where to find food when we witness to someone about our relationship with God. Do you think that this woman, having heard what Jesus could do and knowing the situation with her daughter, went to him, knowing that he could do it. And when he did do it, what do you think Jesus meant to her? This song says he means the world to me. If you're not to the point where he means the world to you yet, maybe he hasn't uh, moved in your life the way he did with this woman. But it was everything to her to see her daughter healed. We, uh, I just, I just did a funeral service uh, yesterday, and I think of, of times we would love to see our family healed. We would love to see them continue to to live and to stay, but they don't. None of us stay. We don't stay here. None of us do. But man, he means the world to me. And I pray that he does to you as well, not just for what he does for me here, um, but that he's going to take me home to be with him someday. I was sinking on life's troubled sea, the wind and waves, they covered me. I reached up and he reached down, his tender mercy and love I have found. He is my strength when I am so weak. He is the voice for words I speak. He will be there when no one seems to care. He means the world to me when I am so low. He lifts me up when I am empty. He fills my cup, He gives me hope for all that I can be. He means the world to me. If you are searching for something to last, just give up on the things of the past. 
Then you will find what you're searching for. He'll fill that emptiness and you'll search no more. He is my strength when I am so weak. He is my voice for words I speak. He will be there when no one seems to care. He means the world to me when I am so low. He lifts me up when I am empty. He fills my cup. He gives me hope for all that I can be. He means the world to me. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. And God, I thank you for... Uh, not just what I've seen you do in my life, but what I've seen you do in the lives of others as well. And some of those folks I don't even know, but to hear a testimony of somebody that you've blessed, you've touched, that you've encouraged, that you've lifted, that you've healed. Uh, God, why wouldn't you mean the world to us? We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Hopefully you'll come by today. We'll get to see you and uh, enjoy uh, some food, fellowship, music with you. If not, and you watch tomorrow, Lord willing, I believe I'm preaching tomorrow morning uh, there at the church, probably Brother Chris, uh, tomorrow evening. Um, and then we'll be back here, Lord willing, on Monday. God bless. Have a great weekend.